Hey there, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to quit my job. That sounds a little dramatic when I put it like that. What I mean is today I'm going to put my notice in to my job. See, I am a driver for FedEx Ground and while the pay is pretty good, we don't have any benefits, there's not really any opportunity for me to progress in the company except to become a manager of the drivers and that looks like an absolute nightmare. <laughs> So there's just not really any reason to stay. And I'm here to talk to you about why you should also quit your dead end job as well. This job has been pretty good to me. It came at a really, really good time. The timing was awesome on it and it helped me and my wife to get our family into a house. So those are all good things. And leaving it's a little bit scary. I definitely have plans. So it's not like I'm just nose diving out of the workforce with no plans going forward. I do have plans for an income, but this job, it's just one of those destroy your body, suck out your soul kind of jobs. And if you are in a similar situation, you shouldn't stay there. Now, I feel like I'm being kind of unfair to the job because it's a good job. And I know for a fact that there are some people who thrive doing this kind of work, some people who are meant to do this kind of work. And I also understand that somebody has to, right? This is one of those jobs where somebody's gotta do it. There's gotta be somebody who goes and cleans out the septic tanks, right? There's gotta be somebody who climbs up the power lines and, and messes with all that. Uh, somebody has to do it, but I don't feel like it's for me. <laughs> And I've been here for almost a year, so it's time for me to figure out what I really want to do with my life. And there's an opportunity for me to do something that I really want to do as well. The people I work for are really good people. The job itself is very simple. It's not easy, but it isn't complicated. Anybody who can drive could do my job. Maybe not do it particularly well, but you would be able to do it. So this isn't necessarily about leaving the job because I don't like my boss or leaving it because I feel like I've been unfairly treated or anything like that. This is really about me getting off the path that I'm on to get on the path that will lead me to doing what I want to do for the rest of my life. At least I hope. Anyway, plans for today. It is 6.23 in the morning. We are heading to the FedEx station and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so you can kind of see what kinds of things that I deal with every single day when it comes to loading out my truck. I don't have to load the whole thing, but I have to mess with the packages on it a lot in order to get them where I want them. And then let you watch some deliveries as well and I'll show you what kind of condition I'm in by the end of the day.
Okay, not so bad, 103 stops so far. That is definitely doable. So this is my route so far. Uh, I don't mind showing it to you because it just shows Walgreens right now, but the stops are all color coded and uh, I only have about 103 stops right now, so not too many dots. Uh, I'll definitely gain a couple more in the next half hour or so while they keep sorting stuff onto my truck. Tetrising is done, and I've got at least a little bit of a path to walk to the back of my truck. We'll go watch the belt. up so you can see me here my truck is pretty nice I've got air conditioning but there's some give-and-take with everything I do not have open bay doors so every time I do a delivery I have to open and close a door somewhere along the way again air conditioning in my opinion this time of year especially super worth it sorry about the lighting you're kind of getting my face all halved up but I've got about 140 stops today I typically average around 30 stops an hour. So if you do the math, it'll take me just over four hours to complete my route. If I can do my 30 stops an hour, a lot of my stuff is really big today. So that definitely factors in. Uh, but anyway, we'll see how I do. for a total of almost four hours since I got to the station early to sort my truck. Driving for two hours, and then I have done 60 of 140, and if it will update, it's being a little slow, there it is. I'm doing 31 an hour. That's good, that means it's not gonna take me forever today. This is gonna be a pretty good day for the most part. Probably not the best view of me, you're ever gonna get, but this is what we're working with. I just finished. Um, did my last stop. I ended up, according to my iPad, I did, oh, and you're moving on me. You can still see me? Okay. I ended up doing 29.87 an hour today, so about 30 an hour. I sped up to about 33 an hour for a while there, but then uh, the end of my area is all businesses. So I have to find the business, find a good place to park, go inside, find someone to give the package to, give it to them, get their last name uh, into my uh, scanner, and then leave. Point is, businesses take a little bit longer than houses, because with houses, you scan it, you're under the door, you drop it, you leave and you're on to the next one. Um, so there are different routes. There are some routes that are almost exclusively businesses. And then there are some that are just uh, residentials. I have a buddy on the belt next to me and he averages somewhere between 140 and 170 a day. He's got a really nice consistent route. Um, and he only has like eight businesses that he delivers to. So he's able to do 40 an hour all day. So think about that for a second. If he has 160, which is a lot of stops, he can do those 160 stops in four hours and pretty much be done. Whereas I have, what did I have today? I think by the time I actually started doing the businesses on my route, I had 30 left. So I have 30 business stops that I have to do as opposed 
opposed to his eight. So of my total today, I had 140, 30 of those were business stops. So an entire hour of my deliveries were businesses. But I started going into the station around 6.20 today, and I will now be getting home around 1.30ish after I turn in my truck and do all the, the end of day stuff that I end up having to do. That's not terrible, right? That's a, a seven hour day, a seven and a half hour day, but it used to be shorter than it is now. Um, and just another reason why I don't really wanna stay here. Not only is it physical work, it's physical work for seven hours. You know, and the only thing, if you take a break, which you totally can, that just ends up taking you more time. So, in today's world, a lot of people would say time is money. So, if you want to make the most out of your time, then you don't want to spend extra time out here taking a lunch or whatever. I know drivers who do that, they take a full hour to go and eat somewhere, um, and then they get back to it, and it's like, well, I could be done and eating at home. I can eat while I drive, so why not just do that? Anyway, everybody's got different philosophies. Mine is get done as fast as possible, and today we did a pretty good job compared to other days for sure. Yesterday, I wasn't going back to the station until 3.30 or so, so this is a way, way better day. Just for perspective, today, not a bad day. 140 stops, I did about 30 an hour, so it took me a little under five hours to, to finish uh, my day, at least driving time. Then I spent about an hour and a half at the station sorting my truck, playing Tetris, and uh, getting my truck ready to go so that I could go that fast. The way that the truck works is obviously there's shelves. There's two rows of them plus the floor, so almost three shelves technically. Um, and what you want is you wanna be able to get all your packages on both sides so that you still have an aisle down the middle so that you can access any package you want at any time. Now that's not always possible because you get some pretty big stuff. For example, today I had a crib, uh, so that was a good time, and then a bed frame, I believe, and a handful of other pretty large things. So it's not always possible to have an aisle. Today, I pretty much had an aisle the whole day. You'll notice my hands aren't even that dirty. Usually they're like black, like black, black and if I touch something that's white, <laughs> I'll leave a little streak mark. Um, so today was not bad, but just as another perspective, I didn't film too much yesterday. I filmed a little bit so that you could see me delivering in a different truck and also some time lapse of me organizing it. But you'll notice as I'm organizing at the end of the time lapse, my truck aisle starts to fill up a lot. I ended up not being able to fit everything that was meant for my route on my truck yesterday. So today I had 140 stops. Yesterday I had 80 more. I had 224 stops. consistency. If I had 140 stops every single day, I would have nothing to complain about. I wouldn't really have a reason to quit. I would, that's, that's good. You know, I will get paid what I get paid for that amount of work. The issue is that that's rare. Two of my five working days a week look like today. The other three are usually pretty awful. So I'll check in with you tomorrow and let you know how it looks then. Oh. 